Amen. Tracy. Yo. Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael! Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man! Fuck! Dead! Come here! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a brick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! Truck yours? The guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body look to it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? You wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, a dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. He gone left. We creeping on this asshole. The fuck is he doing? Look at the fucking hippie fuck! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. How the fuck is he? Check it out. Little prick's up there. Look. Oh, shit. Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea, man! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's got to get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand on your face. Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house? Take my money and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey. Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Ooh, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! Sorry, man, I'm flipped already! Oh, hell yeah, homie! You know what I'm talking Man, I think that shit's coming down, man! Man, fucking drop it! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Let's see how he like that. Whoa, man. Fuck. Fuck him. And yeah, fuck his deck. Hey, homie. I think you put a little more than a deck down. That's yeah, a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man. I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit. Asshole. Oh, 
Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. You do something? I'll try, man. I'll try. Hey, the essays is booked. All right. Hey, right, let's go back home. Wow. Shit. You did good. I mean, I don't know if you hit anyone because your aim's all over the place, but I appreciate the backup. Ah, oh, thank you. Are you sure I didn't hit? Uh, maybe go to a shooting range and work on your aim before we go out again. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Show has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? Now, are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo, it, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. Uh, uh, did you pull an architectural? Significant, modernist, water home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills. I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm casing here about it. The rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Uh, Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm going to have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Stop with the emotion. 
You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the... Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up my sleeves, huh? Fools! <laughs> I'm just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. <laughs> you, you suck up, buddy. Get a hold of yourself. You're in over and your head you and you're up there. you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing the math for that this, a cock that. Go away. What? You go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespect a little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides, just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine. Let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. A bike ride along the Spucy Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Oh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway... I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that Fuck! You're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick or a Jew boy or an ass munching homo. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you. Two bikes. Take your pick. I'll take this one. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big-ass new flat screen.
Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Fuck. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Hey, cool, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man! Come. I like that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! Yeah, well, so am I. Go to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on, now. I'm about to skin you alive. God damn it. Go. Shit, they're coming after us. Go into the outlet. Go away before my dad. Daddy, you just killed him. Maybe he's just injured. If you say so, Trace. You killed them! Oh my god, this isn't happening! Just calm down. I did what I had to do. Let me take you back to your brother. You're a danger to yourself and others. I'm an accessory to murder! No, you're not. You're an accessory. 
accessory to self-defense. I see that traitor! Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, ah! he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you sent him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like you get sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by I... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days.
Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bought up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. Okay, we got some space. I'll try to boot up this antivirus. Scanning. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. When we go mobile, we'll be able to track all their movements. We know everything. That's so cool.
Oh, nice. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh! Some a-hole drank my effing head milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! Remember, Hold on, I'll buzz you out. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem, you don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me, I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Uh, no! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Oh, fuck it, tits! Give me up! Minds on fire. Woo! What a talent. I've never seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Fam Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years that's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. Huh, hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Ah! Security. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa!
was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.